switching topics quickly of course i wanted to recap you on my weekend gone by not weekend i think it was a couple of weeks ago wasn't it that i went oh no week and a half jesus christ we go by in a blur anyway last weekend actually on the saturday the 2nd of april i headed to my favorite nightclub as per usual fold um over in canning town and had a barnstorming night for the toy toy music and unmute presents rado with junkie to junkie inui has that you pronounce it junkie inui and christian ab and more really fun event gotta be honest and want to start off by saying when i got there actually weirdly enough this is the one time that i've been there that i didn't go on my bike because i've been going on my bike quite often um it's a little bit of a mad one i'm not going to lie cycling to a nightclub that you're gonna go and party at for real you know what we mean party we know what we mean and it colloquially in english terms you know what i mean getting on it and whatnot it's a bit of a mad one cycling to a nightclub because you're gonna have to cycle back so cycling is all well and good because i didn't have a drop of alcohol i didn't do anything i was just crunched to serve as a judge then when you're in there and then you have to leave and it's 6 a.m in the morning or it's five or it's four or it's three or it's two you're like whoa this was a interesting choice to make so with that being said um i would say the benefits of, of course of cycling to a nightclub is that you can get there sooner you can obviously get home sooner too it obviously you know helps you to somewhat sober up um i i i i felt like in the past when i've had a bike and i've cycled home even sometimes when you go to festivals abroad somewhere and you get be able to rent a bike it does sometimes wind you down i feel like sometimes when you're out and about you leave a club you can be in that little bubble of like oh what's the after hours saying where should we go next whereas if you just cycle home it kind of just deads the night you know what i mean the rides are really quite fun you might bang on some tunes you might stop for a bevy you might stop for a little piss you might just stop to have a seat to get some munch and then it kind of winds your night down so you just can sleep and wake up in the morning all fine and dandy but this time around i decided to you know, go there via public transport um fairly easy again for me to get there i'm honestly spoiled when it comes to forward because it's legitimately like what 20 minutes away from where i am so it's absolutely beautiful to go and i was really curious to go because number one i'm a big fan of toy toy music i'm if i'm not mistaken i must have went to one of their first ever parties it must have been around 2010 2011 back in the day in like shoreditch area i think or maybe hoxton they used to throw these parties i think it might have been like in the place this place called the peanut factory or something like that one of these old venues back in the day that people used to throw parties at and they were quite cool back then because the weird thing as well back then club scene wise techno wasn't really popping as much as it is nowadays or this hardcore hard dance sort of like thing that's going on at the moment with vtsss and uh um who else spf djs and all those people that play that kind of music that wasn't really in back then back then it was mostly whatever was trendy what was it like deep house tech tech house minimal that sort of sound so that was mostly what people were playing in, in parties or maybe like disco and i tell her disco and stuff but toto were kind of very well known at the time for kind of really being strict about their kind of no, not even say music. No, I wouldn't say that. They were mostly minimal from what I remember. But what I also remember them as being very particular about how they put their parties together, where they host them, um, the sound system they use, um, the people they book, how to get tickets and stuff. They were always a little bit picky, always a little bit, you would say, somewhat pretentious but it worked because usually the parties were always banging and i hadn't been to one for years so i think the last one i went to must have been like i don't know 2015 or something right and it's funny too because back then when i went used to go like you know between the years like 2010 2015 i remember i had this idea to start this zine that i was gonna make which i probably still might end up following through on because you know i have to end up doing some of my projects that i end up wanting to do but i always procrastinate on but i was i was gonna do this zine and I think it was called like Creeper or something. It was like going to be like a nightlife sort of like documentation sort of zine. And I was going to have these, I was going to have different little sections and I was going to have a section of like, you know, how to like, <laughs> how to prepare your gear, what drinks to drink, you know, deciding outfit choices or combinations. I was going to put little DJ highlights, artist profiles, club profiles, and then just like um, night reviews, right? Like, like, like club night reviews that are kind of, you know, noticing my, as you know kind of degradation throughout the night and i was going to feature loads of different parties and collectors because back then it was a thing of like loads of promoters were really kind of at the forefront in terms of kind of pushing the scene together and i was going to do interviews too with promoters and i think i remember i contacted i'm sure it was one of the ladies that's 
I think it's a lady that's the founder of it. I forgot her name. Anyway, I think it was a lady that's a head of, that's a founder of Toy Toy to do an interview and whatnot. And it didn't really kind of pan out the end because I didn't end up following through. But I know I've kind of got a long association with Toy Toy. That's what I'm going to make. But anyway, long story short, I wanted to go to this particular event, particularly to see this dude here called Christian AB. And the reason why I wanted to see him, funnily enough, and I think this is something that a lot of us kind of up and coming DJs have to kind of get to grips with, and probably a lot of managers and bookers have probably already realized. I found out about this guy, guess where from? Instagram. I'd never knew this guy existed before Instagram. So on Instagram, I follow this account called, um, uh, it's called like Souls. What's it called? Is it Soul Vibes. Was it? Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, let's go on Instagram. My number one hit is always going flipping. And what's his face? Um, Kanye West's uh Instagram account. But there's this Instagram account on that I follow, right? That kind of I think it's called like Soul Vibes. Is it Soul Vibes? Let me see if I got it up here. Bear with me one second. Yeah, it is a Soul Vibe. So there's an Instagram account called Soul Vibes on Instagram. Oh, I keep saying that twice. Um, that basically um, captures loads of different clips from m mostly from Ukraine. I think there might be some Russian ones here and there, but this was one of the main pages I was following back in the day or a few years ago or whenever it launched, whenever I saw I'm talking about. And this is what kind of gave me the idea of wanting to go to Kiev in the first place, right? Seeing all these crazy clips of these cool club nights, you know, out on terraces and whatnot. And this Christian AB guy was somebody that was featured quite heavily. Boo. Thomas features quite heavily on this page, right? And I just love the sound, especially when you hear the clips. I mean, clips are hard to kind of gather someone set wise what they're playing, but it sounded like to me when I hear Christian AB play, you no, know, his clips play on this page, it sounded like a far better version of whatever tech house is at the moment. Yeah, whatever Seth Chocolate has turned into that at the moment, which is, you know, a shame really, because I was always a big fan of him, but maybe he's just, you know, too big of a person now at the moment to be anyway decent. But whatever that kind of sound was and whatever it kind of meant to me back in the day, it feels like that Christian AB guy is kind of doing it now at the moment, right? And I think, let's see if I can get a clip. I think there's a him there. No, it's not him there. That's young Marco, I think, isn't it, right? Um, there's a clip here somewhere I can find. Let's see if I can find one of him playing. But this is a page basically where I discovered him from. So I thought, you know what? I saw him playing a fold. It's near where I live. Why not go and check him out and see what he's like in real life? I think that's Radu, right? Um, is that Radu or Rarish? Let's see, that is Rarish, isn't it? Yeah. Is it Rarish? Or am I mistaken? No, so, so oh no, it's, oh, no it was like someone else. It's a resident. It's, got, it's giving me a lot of um, Ricardo vibes the way he's standing. But yeah, let's see if I can find a Christian AB clip. Where is it? I can't find one. He's always on here. Or am I going mad? Actually, let's see if we can get his Instagram account up. Christian AB. Oh, come on. Same, yeah, I think that's him with Christian Brown. Cool. Bear with me one second. I know this is a bit of a long one, but yeah, anyway, these sort of clips are what kind of brought man to go into the festival. Sorry, going to the party in the first place, right? Um, what is this a port or something? Well, I don't know what the venue's called. Um, they're coming closer, so it's closer to the venue in Kiev. So seeing this guy's clips all of our social media got me interested in going to see him play. Let me see if I can get one that goes, that's not going to be too loud so you guys can hear what he sounds like. Nope, nothing there. Nothing happening here. Come on, give me one with sound, brother. Come on, come on. There we go. There's one with sound. Let's see what it sounds like. Anyway, you get the gist. So, find this guy via Instagram, which is obviously a bit of a reminder for myself to get my Instagram profile up and running or to get it a little bit better looking in terms of kind of re reflecting what I'm kind of into and what I'm kind of about in terms of DJing wise. So, you know, if ever somebody would tell you, oh, it's not important to update your socials or to be on there and posting stuff and whatever, especially as somewhat of a creative, especially when you get in that kind of mind space where you're like, oh, I don't want to show my thing. I want to keep it to myself. People will find me anyway. All that nonsense. Nah, they won't find you. I found this dude 
mainly through flipping Instagram. And I, I think at the time I thought he was fucking German or Berlin or something. I think he's fucking English. So this is even more embarrassing. I had no idea this guy existed before I saw Instagram. Anyway, decided to go there and legitimately it was really fun. Really, really fun night. Um, big up the guys that I bumped into. I got bumped into a couple of people who check out the podcast. That's really cool to see. A couple of people, oh no, actually one particular guy who said, you know, he kind of um, wanted to come to Fold based on the videos I've made or the clips I've made, you know, based on my content. So great. And thank you for that. Much appreciated. Um, and yeah, man, I really enjoyed it. I have to be honest. I think it's interesting too because Fold for the most part, if you've not been there previously, we don't know nothing about it i would say you know maybe the owners wouldn't say it but mostly you would kind of describe it as a techno club um it really is a place where you see a lot of club kids going a lot of people going out and really showing out um you know most of the music played there i would say is over 130 bpm so it doesn't necessarily cater for the house crew and if anything house in the uk is a little bit on the meh because the only really version of house you hear i think on like a weekly basis in most venues is tech house and you know for me it's i don't really mind the people that go i think people have more you know have more against the people who are into tech house than the actual music but the music is just so formulaic i mean it just doesn't go anywhere interesting um you know i know people think techno doesn't go interesting but i think tech house is even worse than that and it just is lazy you know it just doesn't do anything for me whatsoever but then when you hear someone like Christian A.B. playing and whatever that version of house he's playing, whether it's minimal, whether it's deep house, whatever it is, I don't know what it is. It's absolutely fantastic. Like he was, he flipping had that room in the palm of his hand for the entirety of the, what, two and a half hours or whatever he was playing. I was dancing towards the front. I managed to get in at the back towards the flipping green room and be able to go where the DJs were playing kind of towards the right, which was nice to actually see it from that area, which was quite cool. Um, you know, you get loads of weird, jealous glances of people raving outside, looking at you behind the booth, but it's not anything to kind of shout home about. I think, like I always say, I think the priority when you're going out is to always go out to dance. Don't worry about standing in front of the booth or being behind the booth or next. It doesn't matter. Go out there to dance and just show out, um, sweat a bit, listen to some good tunes, meet some cool people. The getting behind the booth thing is played out. So I stayed there for a little bit and then I kind of came back to the dance floor and stayed there for the majority of it. There was a period of time where I was legitimately dancing with the wall. It was that good. Just staring at the wall dancing because it was that much of a vibe. And I really had a great time. Um, there's going to be a clip actually played at the end of this that you're going to hear a bit of this, you know, a, a bit of the stuff that he played that I was trying to grab tune IDs from, which I found nowhere, which is always a sign of a good event. Um, no tune IDs means it's an absolute banger of an event. And yeah, man, um, sorry, banger of a DJ definitely somebody that i would say i've kind of added to my list of djs that i'll go and watch play anywhere christian ab 100 percent sure he's definitely won me over he was fucking fantastic and then radu came after i didn't stay too long for that because i had to get up early in the next day but um christian ab was absolutely fantastic at you know um at fold the only slight kind of hiccup i'd say would be maybe the crowd and again it's not really fold's fault it's not toy toy music's fault it's just what it is in the uk and when it comes to house music it's a very strange amalgamation of people you'd say you know you'd say there's a there's a lot more mandem than i've ever seen it fold number one so that's good to see it's great to kind of mix it up a little bit um but then there's a lot of lads there also so it's a weird mixture between mandem and lads listening to house music then there's a lot of people just like me who just want to listen to tunes and don't really mind and i also bumped into a couple of people who just came with friends because you know it's probably the most it's probably the safest vet it's probably the safest night to go to with a couple of friends just to go to fold and check it out Jeremy, you're not going to go to some other nights um you know they're probably a little bit too larry for you just to kind of pop in with some work friends but this was i saw i i kind of heard a few you know people that had been there who are part of birthday parties who just happened to kind of you know stumble across there or you know after work thing whatever it may be so maybe that's the vibe um but yeah the crowd was a bit strange um there were parts of it where people weren't really dancing or going for it too much but i think that's generally a house thing when it comes to house and techno crowds for the most part house people when they come into party they're dressed you know in stuff that they don't want to get dirty or don't want to fuck up um they might want to chat up kills and stuff so they don't want to look too sweaty either um whereas you know techno race people are just kind of going for it they're wearing their thickest biggest darkest clothings or boots and shit and just stomping around the place trying to get as sweaty as they can and gyrating all over as well um but yeah overall great night 
really recommend if you if you if you see Christian Levy playing in your city to give him a listen. I really really enjoyed it. If you're into minimal house, deep house, tech house, whatever you know, or no. So if you're into that sound but you don't like tech house, I really recommend you give Christian Levy a try. Or if you like tech house and you're getting bored of it and you want a bit and you want to kind of um, have your risk your faith restored in house music and you know it's beautiful history then definitely take out christian definitely check out christian ab i mean um definitely a fun event i can definitely guarantee and i can like i said in this clip you'll hear a couple of videos a couple of clips from me taken um at fold uh you know hearing the stuff and of course you can have a gander at that <laughs>